Atkins Low Carb Diet, Understanding the Basics I bet millions of people around the world are familiar with Atkins Low Carb Diet. The diet has after all swept America and the world by storm, and since its introduction in the 1960s, Atkins Low Carb Diet is deemed worldwide as one of the most effective, well-known diets available. The Atkins Low Carb Diet was created by Dr. Robert Atkins, M.D., a cardiologist who earned a medical degree in Cornell University. It was developed based on the theory that people tend to use fat reserves for burning amounts of energy in the body rather than use the energy formed by their bodies when carbohydrates are consumed. Patterned from this idea, the Atkins Low Carb Diet now holds its central concept that hypersensitivity to and overconsumption of carbohydrates is what actually triggers the body to reach the stage of obesity, which is but one of the biggest problems known by man. From this concept stems the idea that people become overweight not because of the number of fats they eat, but because of how their body processes carbohydrates. How does Atkins work? From the idea that carbohydrates play a major role in weight gain, the Atkins Low Carb Diet works by lessening the carbohydrates intake to about less than 40 grams a day. Well, this is pretty obvious from the name of diet alone, but Atkins Low Carb Diet does not simply involve such carbohydrate reduction. It covers a number of phases that every low-carb eater should follow to obtain the real expectation. In the first stage of Atkins Low Carb Diet, the deeter is expected to undergo the so-called ketosis. Ketosis is actually the state in which the body burns fat as fuel. This state is also deemed to be responsible for the production of insulin in the body, which will prevent more fat from being formed. With ketosis, the idea behind the Atkins Low Carb Diet follows that once you enter the state of ketosis and your body starts to burn fat as fuel, your urge for carbohydrates will subside. This is what will allow you to go on with your life without the foods you have been accustomed to before. The Atkins Phases Generally, the Atkins Low Carb Diet is consists of four stages. The first stage is known as induction which covers the first 14 days of the Atkins Plan. During this stage, the Atkins Low Carb Diet claims that you will lose 15 pounds as you will limit carbohydrates intake for up to 20 grams a day. You are only limited to 3 cups a day. In the second stage known as ongoing weight loss, you will need to increase your carb intake by 5 grams. This is actually the stage in which you will slack off your carb intake once again. On the next stage, the pre-maintenance stage of Atkins Low Carb Diet, weight loss is expected to occur slower than the first weight loss. Here, you are allowed to taste certain varieties of foods and this testing is done to see if you can safely add them to your diet without gaining weight. Once you reach your goal, the maintenance stage of Atkins Low Carb Diet takes place and this is the exact stage when some more carbohydrates will be reintroduced to your diet. It is important to note, however, that in the maintenance stage of Atkins Low Carb Diet, the bad carbs must totally be eliminated. So instead of bad carbohydrates, you will be asked to choose healthy carbs like whole wheat. The Atkins Low Carb Diet is now known as the most severe, but enjoyable kind of diet ever known to man. Experts have said that as you continue dieting based on the Atkins Plan, reaching your weight goal is nothing impossible. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.